welcome. My name is Beth, and I'm here to talk to you about how you can make radically better parts with Carbon Design Engine. Before we go further, let's define what that is. Carbon Design Engine is a cloud-based, lattice design software that helps engineering teams create next-gen products. One of the biggest challenges when working with lattices is not having a clear path to define the parameters you need for your performance and aesthetic requirements. It traditionally requires a trial and error method where you have to manually select cell sizes, strut diameters, lattice types, and materials, test that in the manufacturing environment, and then repeat. All of this creates unnecessary iterations leading to long design cycles that do not guarantee you'll get the results you want. Enter Find Unit Cell. You may be wondering, where do I begin? I don't have a sense of how different lattices perform, how to choose the type, the cell size, the strut diameter. All I know is that I want something that performs similar to the foam that I'm used to using in similar applications, but this time I want the longevity and the look of a lattice. To overcome this challenge, Carbon Design Engine provides a metamaterials library that helps users to find and apply the right unit cell to mimic the mechanical response and aesthetics desired. By reducing the guesswork early in the design process, Carbon Design Engine allows users to move faster and build next-gen products with more confidence. Let's say I have this wrist pad that I want to feel like a high-density foam. A very common foam in cushion applications, only I don't like how foam wears down over time and never quite feels like it did when it was new. A lattice can overcome that concern, plus I love the way they look. So I might know the data and stress strain curve behind my high density film. If I don't, I can come to Carbon Academy where we have a lot of sample data ready for you. Ideally, you do know what your film is and you can match that exactly. What we do is we start by going to the strut lattice tool and instead of entering your parameters manually, you will open up the find unit cell feature. This opens up thousands of results within our metamaterials library. To narrow that down, when you do know what your stress strain curve is, you can begin by filtering by modulus. The modulus is calculated in the linear elastic range of the stress strain curve, so we can bring that down to a number that's close to that of high density foam. This immediately reduces the number that we are looking at here on screen, which will give us a new direction to go in. The find unit cell tool contains other filters that you can use, which can help narrow things down further based on your geometry. We can also simply look for similar looking lattices if you have an aesthetic direction that you'd like to go in. That's what we'll do here. Then with some of the results, you can pick a few and click the compare tool. And now you will see a stress strain curve of those particular lattices. Review the data and select the one that looks most like the foam that you are trying to replicate. Looks like in this case, this one here works quite well, so we can click Apply Unit Cell. Those parameters automatically populate our design space here. Any additional advanced options that you want to add in, you may do so. Then we will generate the lattice. And voila, we have our wrist pad that is going to perform very much like our high density film. No more lengthy design cycles, no more reworking your design, no more testing multiple options, no more questionable outcomes. Find unit cell is the designer's perfect time saver.